Praise the Lord, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV. I've been praying and uh, really feeling the Lord is stirring people to call things from heaven. Let's talk about, let's talk about faith. Let's talk about our doctrine of victory. And let's talk about, I don't want to just tell God about things. I want to tell things about God. In other words, I don't want to have to cry to God about everything. I want to, I want to tell things that God is the victor and we have the power to create things by our words. You, you got to understand that uh, this thing we're doing in the realm of waiting, like hoping and wishing, <laughs> those are not the way to go in the realm of real Christianity, real powerful walk with God. We need to create things. Also, we need to redeem the time. Jesus said, redeem the time. And let's not just talk about because the days are evil. Of course, that's true. And he did say that. But let's talk about uh, the fact that you can have what you want. You can have what you say. Your words uh, are powerful when they're abiding in him. He said, when you abide in me and my word abides in you, you'll ask for what you want and it'll be granted unto you. He said that, yes? He did. So what are we waiting for? Prayer is not just like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's like, uh, Lord, I need to rise up to the occasion. I need to step up the game. I need to get <clears throat> things going on in the realm of what it is you've ordained and stop... Uh, you know, wasting time, energy lost, vision lost, hope lost. A lot of people live in that realm because they don't have a teacher, they don't have an exhorter, they don't have a friend, they don't have they don't have someone to coach them and help them along and kickstart their faith and you know kick them also. You know, kick them, give them a good swift kick and say, hey. Wake up and get moving. Another thing, next point, is we need to have good people around us. You need to have a great team. You need to have great thinkers. You need to have great doers. People that are creative. You know, I, I marvel at people that are creative that God's given to me. And they just, you know, remember the scripture says, I'll give uh, men for your sake. Yeah, because there's a vision. There's, someone has to work in it. You know, that's the will of God. There's no apology for that. There's no, like... Uh, Everybody could be so individualistic all the time uh, about just whatever, and everybody's in their own box. Well, how many boxes are you going to put? Can't you have one bigger box and everybody's involved in that? Anyway, that's just, a, that's just a, a, a point to ponder on. You know, if God needs a dozen people to work in a thing, he's not just going to call one person by themselves. He's going to have the other 11 there too. And if it's 100 people, he's also going to have the other 99 there, too. If it's a 1,000 people, bigger one, he's going to have the other 999 there, too. So depending on the level that you're at, you say, could I have an organization of leaders? I mean, just workers, staff, in other words, of, not, of 1,000 people. Well, if you have a big company, but it's up to you if you're going to get there or not. You ever see people that do great big things and you wonder, like, how they did it and why and and all that, and you're just like marveling at them, and, but you can do it too. They did it, it's proof you can do it. God made every human, and he gave us all the gift of life, and he gave us the gift of time, and it's up to us to get on with the program of what he has ordained. Good place to say amen right there. So, we're praying, yeah, but we're praying standing in the way of the power, I mean, in the, in the stead of the power of God, in authority, 
to do great things and get great things done. There's no more time to be lax or, or uh, waiting for things all the time. That's just not where you want to be, my friend. Uh, the, so, the, so the Lord has given this call to for people to pray, but also to you know, for people to rise up. That's what prayer does. It gets you, you know, up, up and out into the thing that God's ordained. It gets you to the the the, the situation, like the place, meaning the place in your life where He's ordained for you to be. That oh God, I feel the anointing. The things begin to happen. It's a system. It's a company. It's a corporate thing. It's a lifestyle. It's a life. Look at people that build buildings. They decided to build buildings, right? Look at people that build companies or build ministries or churches. They decided to build that. You, you can never get anything done unless you decide to do it. <clears throat> you... you <laughs> You can't you can't uh, perform any 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 function unless you decide to do it. So whatever decision making factor there needs to be, you need to get into that and stop being distracted by all these little foxes that spoil the vine, and stop being like uh, tossed to to and fro and about by people. Uh, in, in situations that, you know, you need to hear God and then really progress strongly on what he said, no matter what it takes. Let's say part of your process involves uh, building a new enterprise in a, in a certain place, uh, certain grace, certain space, certain new faces, you know, new face, new grace, new space, new race. I don't mean it's new. I mean, it's just something you're developing into now. You have to make decisions to go for it. And make it happen. Otherwise, is it going to get done? N O P E. Nope. No. Um, you have to think things through. You have to give attention and focus to what's good for you. Y'all yeah, say it again and it rhymes. You need to think things through and you need to give a focus and attention to what you need to do and what's good for you, you know, in, in, the, in the scope of the plan of action that God has for you to be moving in and walking in. This is crucial, my friend. Otherwise, you'll just be like wandering around like some people do and all of us do it a little bit too much. Running errands for yourself, managing you know, what it is you're, you're doing and, um, you know, doing these little odds and ends and errands and stuff like that for, you know, what you need to happen. And it's nonsense. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Because you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting anything done. So I'm speaking to you as a success strategist, as his prophet to the nations and to the body of Christ, as his teacher, as his mentor and father, you know, to help people. So prayer, prayer will invoke that. I started something yesterday. I'm in the second month of praying over some things, excuse me, and and uh, over a lot of things in life and the plan of action that God has and, you know, all of that. And um, in our second month now, and I'm feeling this, like yesterday I did a little message called a call to prayer, and I call this part two a call to prayer. But you know what? It's a call to get your head right, to get your vision straight. You know, if you're called to be an entrepreneur, you got to work like day and night at it if you're going to get anywhere or else get employed. It's okay to have a job, you know, even while you're doing next phase planning and thinking, it's still okay to work somewhere. Very okay. Get your needs met. Take care of things, you know, and then build your business still in the process. Someone might have jumped out of one thing and says, you know, I got to get on with this right now and 
you know, I'm going to build this business. Well, it may take a few months. It may take a while. It probably will. So it's okay if you have different stages in it. You're still going there, but it's up to you to decide how much you're going to do and how fast you're going to progress, but you still need to live and survive. That's some wisdom, okay? You know, a lot of people say they want to have a business. They want to have a ministry. They want to jump out into things. Well, a ministry should produce for itself. It doesn't mean you go without everything that you had. Now, if God tells you to cut uh, uh, cut your living down and your expenses down for the purpose of doing something, he still, he still is ordained to give you increase, you know, along the way because God pays excellently for what he orders. No one can pay you like God. So you still have to have the vision of, you know, being rich and successful, you know. It's really our moral obligation to be successful before God. Success is really not an option. It's, 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 it's not an option. It's something we need to, uh, it's something we need to happen. You know, it needs to be done. Absolutely needs to be done. It's not optional. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And, and and you got to be successful in something. It's a deep thought that came to me today, and uh, I, I really it was really really a bit challenging to to think all the way through. I was like, oh boy, this is something. But it's like, what you have to ask yourself some questions. Like, what is it that God has ordained for you to do? What is the plan and purpose that He has? For you, what is it that exactly that he's ordained for? Like, what is your specific gift, talent, and function to the world, to the body of Christ, for yourself? Things you've been gifted by God in. What is that? You need to get all out. You need to get all into it. You know, this is a funny word. It's kind of a marketing word, but it's true anyway. So don't take it the wrong way. You need to package it yourself. Mar if you're going to have any marketing going on. I mean, come on. Everybody does some marketing. Even a church does marketing. They have a, a way that they present things that, uh, you know, kind of goes uh, with the grain of how certain people think and want. And they end up going there and support it and become a part of it. And I found out most churches are not really built on the spontaneous power of God more than they are built on a system of administration. And you really have to have a system of administration or else, you know, the spontaneous thing, it's too... Uh, you need to have a system that works, like a functionality. I know one apostle. He's a real apostle, but he won't let it... He doesn't like anybody to call him. That. Like, you call him by his first name, he's okay. He's that kind of guy. Uh, and, I, and I believe in that, you know. We need to... Uh, really have have a system yeah and i noticed the system that they have and it's kind of makes it easier to do a lot of things because everything's running and there's all there's entire teams you know that are running a system so get the anointed system from heaven <laughs> get the get the system from heaven get the system from god on what it is that he's ordained for you to do. And you need to work that thing. You need to work it, work it, work it. You need to work it. Oh my God. Like, uh, however, the Lord gives you the creative strategies and ideas to do, that's the stuff you need to do. A trillion percent. And the teams that you need to do it. Absolutely, it's the will of God for them to uh, to work with you in the deal and to, uh, you know, be a part of the functionality of the whole thing. So prayer will do this. It will get, you know, it'll have God give you back answers on what you need to do next. And that's the one thing we always need to know more than anything else is what to do next. We need to know a lot of things. Knowledge is powerful. Knowledge is, is powerful, but, uh, you know, you, you, you have to have the wisdom to apply things, and that, that's what's going to cause everything to go right. 
and to move forward. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for this right now. I'm praying over this. That you give us the strategy, the place, the system, the uh, the ideas, the creative touch. I feel the anointing here. The creative touch of your glory and your wisdom on how to move forward in this thing called organization, administration, structure, where, with who, how, everything lined up, everything corporately brilliant, everything in place, everything aligned, everything moving, everything happening the way it needs to be done, you know, yeah, and the Lord, I tell you, the Lord will speak to you, after hearing this today, I believe God will speak to you and start to give you ideas, this is anointed, this is anointed, I am anointed for this, to teach you these things, I'm telling you, God is following my voice and my words here, he's giving me, he's the one speaking through me, to all of us, including myself, and to you, and everything, the whole world, including us, and uh, we, we, need to, we, we need to know that God is speaking and he's going to come right behind this and he's going to begin to really, 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 really address issues of things that you need to happen in the now. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? I'm more than ready. God's been talking to me, giving me ideas. There's some decisions that have to be made. You know, there's some, some processes of things you need to put in motion and begin to get moving on. Yeah, for the call and the will of God. God's connected you divinely to someone. There's a, there's a, a connection. There's something great, something new. Hey, then that's, that's, you know, that's where you need to dig in and get involved and be creative and pray it through and bust it out and make it happen. I mean, bust out all the walls and the seams and anything kind of diversions or distractions or delays or uh, obstacles of any kind. You need to bust them all out in prayer. Prayer is also, another thing about prayer, another point is also, it's also maintenance. You know, some warfare, some like, addressing some issues and keeping the atmosphere clear and strong and all of that is 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 based on uh you know some some power the power of god like blowing out the pipes so to speak you know like if you have clogged pipes with you know that haven't run the water hasn't run things get clogged you know you don't eat enough vegetables and protein and fiber and all these things in the body the body doesn't work right you know what i mean drink enough water and have enough, you know, a healthy diet and all that, then things don't work. And then you need to walk, you need to move, you need to exercise, you know. Uh, health is based on movement, movement of the body, movement of food through the body, assimilation of, you know, nutrients. That's why it says you are what you eat. You got to, you got to put in good things. But so you need your diet spiritually and mentally also to be in the word. I let the word play all the time when I'm sleeping. That's the thing I've, I've been doing. And it's working well for me. Uh, I don't care that other voices are, are going on around me. It's the word of God audibly coming, you know, being read. And uh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. It's also the day and the hour now where God is going to begin to uh, really, really give you a, a system. It's going to be like a time when God's going to give you the system, he's going to give you the ideas, he's going to give you the who, what, and where. Now there's five W's I like to call them, what, when, where, who, and why. But why you, you already should be knowing why you're doing something, I would think, unless you're really like, you know, behind in schedule of things. And when you'd say, I want it now. I have an affectionate saying, like this funny, funny thing that I say. People says, when do you want it? I said, well, yesterday, today, or tomorrow, whichever comes first. Well, that was yesterday. And if it didn't happen yesterday, then today, please. And then if today is absolutely not, you know, going to happen for whatever logistical reason, then let it please be tomorrow. So, you know, 
Even when we pray for patience, you know, it's a joke. But here you go. Pray for patience. We say, oh, Lord, please give me the patience, the spirit, of, you know, the gift of patience. But, but please hurry up. You know, <laughs> let's get it done now. You know, like and, and another statement of mine is we need to make some, uh, we need to write these out. Another one that I like to say is um, uh, never wait till tomorrow what can be done today. Try to exhaust every day, fulfill everything in every day. Anything you could do now, don't just be lazy and say, well, let's address it tomorrow. Like there's something I wanted to do yesterday couple of things and I got I did them and got them done didn't matter how you feel doesn't matter how you feel doesn't matter what's going on get it done get it done that's one less thing that you have to have on your head tomorrow another point is the spirit of wisdom flowing here another point is you feel frustrated and as some anxiety and stress over things that are not done yet and when something gets done that you want it to be done you feel like a relief let that be happening every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour, every, at least every day. A few milestones or priorities you're like getting on with, you know? And when it gets solved, you know, when you have a pile of things that need to be done and they're undone, all that stuff weighs on you. So prayer also has a, a benefit in this, that you, you pray and then the, the Lord starts to talk back to you and even convict you and show you and... You analyze things and you look at everything and you say, I have to get this done. And then God will also give you, here's another point about prayer. God will also give you the power of, from heaven of boldness and confidence and courage and that spirit of might, spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of understanding. It's just awesome. And, 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 and he'll begin to empower you with that, that you can really begin to address the things that you need to address in your life, in your vision and really begin to get everything going, 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 going. And the things that need to be done and checked off the list, going, going, gone, done, 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 done. And you feel a bit fulfilled every hour of every day when you're getting things done. Now, one thing about a progressive person who has vision, ambition, ambition is not an evil word, it just needs to be harnessed correctly. Confidence is confidence, but it's not pride. That's a pride is a different thing. Pride is without God. It's arrogance of man. It's a different thing than confidence. You know, some people kind of mis can try to mistake one for the other. A real strong, bold personality, someone who's really intense, and they could think, well, is that pr a proud person or is it arrogance? No, it's confidence and boldness to get things done. You see, there's two different worlds to this. And God is the author of, of confidence. He's the author of giving you that confidence. I began writing a book on this. So I'm going to get it done in due time and due course. And, you know, the Lord, is, the, the Lord is the author of that. So you'll get this resolve in you, this power from heaven in you to begin to say, I need to make every decision I, de I need to make right now to get on with the vision and the plan and the purpose that God has ordained for me. In what he wants me to do and achieve right now, and especially in my in my life and in my lifetime, you know, to get things done. It's very important. Prayer connects you back with your vision. Oh yes, that's another point. Prayer connects you back with your vision, the vision of heaven. The vision and call of God gets you back um, but whatever time you lost whatever you lost along the way whatever was stolen or damaged whatever problem or pain came to your life or adversity or attack or warfare or whatever you know you you get past that when you pray you get past adversity when you pray that's a point and then you Reconnect back with heaven's vision for you. This is powerful. And you stop being impressed. You know what happens too also when you pray a lot and you really get in the presence of God and God really, re really connects you, you know, together with your vision. You, you, someone might think, you know, uh, flippantly thought like, oh, I'm in my vision. Well, good for you. A lot of people aren't. Well, I'm in, I'm all in it. Well, a lot of people aren't all in it. They're doing many things. They're distracted by things. 
They've been spoiled by the foxes of spoiled the vine. There's little things that have happened. There's delays, distractions, denials, you know, divisions, derisions, you know, despair, depressions, disillusionment, discouragement, and a lot, of, a lot of depression. You know, there's a, a lot of those D words, yeah? Devastated over situations, situations that people are really stuck in all kinds of things. I, I don't think there's anybody that's full flow 100%, exactly 100% in everything God wants you to achieve. I'm sure of that. I don't care how great you are, how rich you've become. You know, we're blessed. You know, we're blessed. And people are multimillionaires. And, yeah. And they still have not. There's still something else they can do. So daily, it's a quest to get on with the thing. When you're praying, you're connecting with heaven. And heaven is downloading. Yes, Lord. Heaven. Woo. Heaven is downloading to you on earth everything that you need to be doing. And, and, that, and then here's another point, as I was saying. Another, next point. You don't, get, you, 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 you don't get impressed easily, and you're no longer impressed with a lot of people and things. You're like, well, that's, that's what they're doing, but what am I doing? That's what they're doing, but what, what it, where is the, the, the fruited manifestation in tangible reality of what God has ordained me to do. Where is that? Is it happening enough? I say not. Nobody's all the way there. People are partially in stages. Some are way back. Some are a little bit ahead. Some are there. But everybody needs to be challenged in this area. So we're speaking, me and the Holy Spirit, we, we are speaking on the right thing here. People need to be pushed. Swift kick. Grabbed, chicken, wake up! Come on! You know, given the insight and the information, and for God Almighty in His glorious presence, power and mercy and favor, <laughs> and His love for us. My God, His love for us is so wonderful. Oh my, where will we be without that? Without Him? Nowhere. You'd be lost like people in the world that are so lost. I mean, what a sad state of affairs, you know. To be lost? No, no, no. We don't. We're not lost. And, and God, in His love and His mercy, will come to help put all these things together for us as we're in tune with heaven. So, another prayer puts you in tune with God, and he, he, you're in His frequency. You can pick up the signals and the sounds and the the messages that He's He'll send to you, and you begin to. Just put it all together. This life we have must become a place of success, must become a place of abundance, must become a place of, of prosperity and brilliance from Him. Very, 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 very important. Very, 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 very important this is. It's crucial. It's everything. So whatever the Lord has called you to do, I pray fire. I speak the fire of God, the almighty creative brilliance of Jehovah himself by the Holy Spirit's manifest, manifesting it to you, manifesting God's brilliance to you, that this will happen for you. The Holy Spirit will manifest God's brilliance to you and give you his royal plan of action. And you can get moving on it uh, every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month and of the year that you can be making progress step by step by step. But at le and next point, let's ask God for his will for the right now moment. What is the priority that you need to embark upon? What is the thing that you need to do? What is the thing that you need to accomplish right now? What is that assignment from him that he wants you to be working on? If it's like organizing a new place and a new space, you know, then you need to research that. You need to look into that. You need to think about it. You need to pray about it. You need to pray it through. You need to look for, you know, every possible uh, way of getting it done. And God will help. And he'll send the help. And he'll help. And he'll give people. He will. He'll give people. He'll give events, places, things, his favor. Things will just line up. I just had a major miracle the last couple of days. 
I'm, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for it. It's another step, and so many things are happening. I can't testify right now. I, I will at some point. Some things I'll never tell all of it because it's too big. You might, you know, you might get, you might freak out. You know, I, I there's this funny saying like, "Honey, don't, honey, don't scare the children." What if there was a movie? Don't shrink the children or something. Don't scare the children. You know, <laughs> some miracles are huge. They're like, oh, oh, you know that emoticon, like with the lips, like that, like wow. You do that face, and uh, you, it's like it's too. Look at these clouds; they're absolutely black. Hey, this is a big storm here. The sky's going dark. Oh Lord, it's starting to rain. And it's down in front of me. Is I'm not clicking the screen because what happens is, is this uh, thing here. You know what they'll do? They'll, uh, they'll, they'll look for that screenshot and show a black sky, and that's the picture of the thing here. And I'm like, I can't do that. i got to keep it on one setting here. So, All right, I'm going to run, and uh, not because of that, just some other appointments I'm running to and uh, things I'm doing. The Lord is, uh, I'd stay in the thunder and lightning. I don't care. I'll keep preaching until, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm finished when I'm finished. More on this, I'll continue in this. But the spirit of wisdom is speaking here. God is um, really, really, really serious about you getting into his plan and purpose. I know that sounds elementary, but it's not. Because every day you need to adjust yourself into the call, the high call of God, Paul said. I don't count myself to have apprehended. If Paul, who caused riots and revivals for 30 years all through the Mediterranean coast... And whole societies, kings and everybody down from the lowest to the highest were affected by his, his, the power of God moving through him and his, the words and the logos that was written and the ministry of Paul. And after all of that, of causing riots and revivals for like 30 years, I think it was historically documented, something like that. And then he said, I don't count myself to yet have apprehended. That proves the point I was making earlier. That's scripture. I don't count myself to have yet apprehended. But this thing I do, I press on to the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The high calling, the high calling, the better thing, the bigger thing. That's important. And that's what you need to be doing right now. So I'm praying, I'm releasing this prayer over you. It's a call to prayer, volume two, this message. Share this with your friends. Become a partner on thomasmanton.com. And if you're in North America, I'll have these available in Africa after a minute. But if you're in North America, I can mail this to you when you're sowing a generous seed into the ministry. Connect on thomasmanton.com. That's the place to do it. The benefits of excellence and this great DVD that uh, came from this message I did in a great conference with multitudes of people there uh, on the power to create wealth. The content in these is absolutely uh, fabulous. I mean, you'll just be amazed. And I haven't seen any any messages like these anywhere. These are very, very potent, loaded. The content is so great. When you're sowing a generous seed into the ministry, I'll send these to you as my gift to you in Jesus' name. So avail yourself to that. And also there's a box on, the, on my website on thomasmanton.com. You can put in your phone number and your email and your name and where you're from please put all the above those four things where you're from your name where you're from your phone number and your email address and we can be in touch with you okay on thomasmanton.com there are many ways to sow they'll be on the screen here share this message with others and the lord bless you and i'll see you here on the next broadcast it's a call to prayer you need to get into the plan of action that heaven has for you on the earth right now that uh, no more time is lost. No more time is lost. There's no time lost anymore. And the victory is yours. Every victory is yours in Christ Jesus. The spirit of faith is in you. You can command things uh, as you need them to be. And God will, will answer by fire when you're connected with him. So this call to prayer is real. And it gives us all of these different many benefits and we thank you lord for all of this in jesus name talk to you in the next broadcast i love you and i'm continuing to pray you pray with me and i want people to also uh join this little prayer army here this prayer troop this prayer tribe (laughs) 
And uh, just write me a note on that by inbox or on my website is better on thomasmanton.com. Put it in there and uh, your email address, your phone number, and your name and where you're, where you're from, where you are residing and operating. And, and uh, we'll, be, we'll stay in touch and we'll keep praying together. I'm praying for you. God will answer uh, uh, and come behind what I've been saying here and begin to manifest these words that I've spoken to you in your life in Jesus' name. Look for them. And thank you again for being my partner in the ministry. Let's connect together because the world is being shaken. Thank you for your help and support in our world missions. I love you. God bless you. Talk to you on the next show. In Jesus' name, amen.